I'm believing for revival in Iran. And this is a critical turning point. This moment right here. Will we stand and pray or will we turn a blind eye to this potential hinge in history? This is Jennifer LeClaire and this is Praying the News. On today's broadcast, we'll look at the crisis in Iran and the opportunity for the gospel to turn the nation upside down. We'll also review some prophetic words I released about Iran some months ago and then some weeks ago. We'll get started right after a word from our sponsor. In 2007, the Holy Spirit woke me up in the middle of the night and told me he would bring a third great awakening to the nation. I believe we're going to see the greatest great awakening in the history of the world and it will spill over into the nations of the earth for the glory of God. I believe we'll see a movement greater than all previous moves of God put together. And I know it's predicated on prayer. The Awakening Prayer Hub's mission in any city is to draw a diverse group of intercessors who have one thing in common, to contend for the Lord's will in its city, state, and nation. Bishop Bill Hammond, Lou Engel, Cindy Jacobs, Mike Bickle, James Gall, Alveda King, and many others are standing with us. Will you start a hub or find a hub in your city at AwakeningPrayerHubs.com? Even as Iran is sending weapons to Russia in its unprovoked war against Ukraine, the Middle Eastern nation is still struggling to crush defiant protests on its streets. This has been going on for weeks. Protests have lingered now for seven weeks to be exact, and Iran is vowing to hold public trials to penalize as many as 1,000 protesters. That's according to foreignpolicy.com. It all started, as you know, on September 16th. That's when Masa Amini died under suspicious circumstances while in custody of the morality police. They arrested her for not wearing her jihad in accordance with government standards. The Law Enforcement Command of Islamic Republic of Iran claims she had a heart attack and fell into a coma before they transported her to the hospital. But eyewitnesses offer a much different story. They insist that she was essentially beaten to death. Protests erupted hours after her death, leading the Iranian government to impose an internet blackout, nationwide restrictions on social media. There's been just so much conflicting information. Pro-government protesters are battling against anti-government protesters, which are calling for their execution. So this is really, really boiling over in Iran. Now, on June 3rd, I prophesied about a holy visitation in Iran and how the enemy is trying to stop it. Listen in. We lift up the nation of Iran. I see a holy visitation coming to Iran. And the principalities and the powers, they're trying to stop it, but nobody can stop it. I saw the glory oil flowing into Iran. I saw the Lord's will to bring revival to Iran. God, we lift up the nation of Iran and we say, God, raise up the intercessors on the ground, God, who will pray in this glory revival, God. Glory oil in Iran running over the borders into the Middle East. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you raise up evangelists who will go into this dark nation and fight for the souls that you have ordained in this hour to come into your kingdom. Oh God, I lift up the nation of Iran. God, I'm asking you for the souls. I'm asking you for the harvest in Iran. I'm asking you, God, to convert those who don't believe in you who believe in other gods give them signs and wonders God dreams and visions God help them see who you really are Jesus make yourself known to those in Iran who are shrouded in darkness clouded in darkness God in the name of Jesus thank you Lord for the glory oil that's running through Iran in the spirit we call it down into the natural in the name of Jesus let your word run swiftly in Iran, God. Help us to stand in the gap for this Middle Eastern nation, God, to pray without ceasing until we see your desire done in Iran. We thank you, Lord. I plead the blood 
blood of Jesus, the blood of Yeshua over Iran. The glory oil will flow in the name of Jesus. The harvest will be reaped in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for Iran in Jesus' name. Hey. Rise up, rise up. There is an army overflowing principality. We call you fourth great army. There is an army rising against the darkness. The army of the Lord. Undercover, with power in their hands to heal the sick and raise the dead. Yes, I will show my people in Iran that I am indeed the God of miracles. That I am indeed the God of signs, the God of wonders. I will bring forth streams from the desert, says the Lord, and you will see and you will know that mass salvations are at hand. And you will see intercessors from the north, the south, the east, and the west begin to rise up and cry aloud, even in travail, for a nation on which darkness has settled. You will see and know that I am the Lord, and I can reach the hardest hearts. I am turning the hearts whichever way I will. Would you pray for the lost ones? Would you pray for the souls in Iran? Would you pray for the hardest hearts? Would you pray? Father, we thank you tonight. For Iran has been on my heart all week long, and I did not know why, but you make yourself known. You make your will known to those who seek you, to those who look to serve you with their whole heart, and that's us tonight. And we're focusing on this nation. We're focusing on Iran because you're not done yet. The walls of oppression will come down. The walls of behemoths will come down. The walls of death will come down. So Father, thank you tonight. 
that you have highlighted this nation. It's on your heart. And I feel a rumbling. I feel a rumbling around Iran, around the Middle East. I feel a rumbling. I see a shaking. I see a shaking in the spirit. I hear a rumbling. I feel it. I sense it. Show me what you're trying to say, Lord. A rumbling. A shaking. A movement. An eruption. Ah. violence, I see, I see death, I see destruction. Jesus, I see riots, I see anger, but I also see Jesus. I see Jesus beckoning those to come to him. I see Jesus calling forth people who have been in bondage for generations, setting them free and setting them out with the word of God in their mouth, almost like Paul the apostle. He was Saul. He was persecuting the church, but he had an encounter with the Lord that turned everything around. He began to perform signs and wonders and he preached the gospel with power. I see Saul's turned into Paul's rising up in Iran. So Father, thank you that you encounter those, those ones you want to use, those ones you want to send, those ones you want to embolden. Encounter them, God. We're asking you to do it tonight, now. We're asking you to do it before blood is shed. We're asking you to do it before lives are lost. We're asking you to do it before the riots and the pen pandemonium. Break inward light, God. Let it be so, Lord. After the riot started, I released this different word, another word, on October 21st, and it was about a new Islamic revolution in Iran. Let's listen in right after this message from one of our sponsors. Throughout scripture, God gives us end times revelation. And Jesus told us to watch and pray in relation to the end times over and over again. But how do you practically do this? What does watching and praying in the last days look like? God is raising up end times watchmen all over the world. Many are having dreams, visions, receiving prophetic words about the last of the last days. If the Holy Spirit is stirring your heart about the end times, this book is for you. In this timely book, you'll discover how to discern your calling as an end times watchman. Walk in an end times lifestyle and anointing. Prepare a generation for the Lord's return. Navigate eschatological views and apocalyptic dreams and visions. Practically watch for the true signs of the times. Deliver end times warnings with wisdom. Pray in agreement with God's end times plans. Intercede from an eternal perspective. Stand in your end times assignment and so much more. Pick up your copy of the End Times Watchman, the prophetic intercessor's guide to watching and praying through the last days on Amazon or jenniferleclair.org slash end times watchman. Thank you. 
you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just lift up the nation of Iran. The nation of Iran. A nation in turmoil. Huh. A Middle Eastern nation with a persecuted church. I see a new Islamic revolution rising in Iran. It's brewing. It's brewing. It's brewing. And I see blood on the streets. I see blood on the streets. And how many, how many women have to die at the hands of of an evil regime. Oh Lord, how many? How many more, Lord? Let the revolution begin. Let the revolution begin. Enough is enough. Centuries of oppression. Morality police. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Let the revolution begin, God. Stir your people. Stir your people to fight for freedom. Oh, Jesus, I see a door in the Spirit. I see a door of opportunity. It's not yet open, but it's opening. There's going to be a door. There's going to be a door. It's going to open wide for the gospel in Iran. It's part of the revolution. It's part of the revolution. I see a great harvest in Iran as the spirit of the Lord brings liberty to women. It's starting with the women, the women who are oppressed. It's starting with the women, the revolution, the open doors. It's the women. Some will lay down their lives. Some will be martyrs for the cause of freedom in Iran. But the Lord would say tonight, I am stirring the people of this dark nation to choose me, to choose life, to choose light. They don't know the real me, says the Lord. But I am opening doors for my gospel. My word will reach many. I will give them dreams and visions if I have to. But I will have my harvest in Iran, says the Lord. I will have my harvest, says the Lord. I will make my evangelist effective, says the Lord. And yes, many will die for the sake of my gospel. There will be martyrs, says the Lord. But I will raise up a remnant there because I am looking for my people in Iran. I love them. I died for them. So pray for their souls, says the Lord. For many will be lost, but many will be saved. Will you pray for open hands, open minds, open hearts, open ways? For my word to reach the lost? To reach the hurting, the oppressed, the confused. I want to bring them life. So we say yes, Lord. Yes to the new Islamic revolution. Shake it up. Shake up that evil regime. Let freedom ring in our let Islam fall to the gospel. Let freedom ring. Let freedom reign in Iran. Lord, I know we won't get them all. I know we won't get them all. But I know you've got a harvest. And it's ripening even now. It's ripening even now. So let us not forsake the Iranians. 
But we stand for the cause of justice, the cause of freedom. And let the light of the gospel overcome the darkness there. And Lord, let there be a regime change. We displace, ah, we displace the current leadership. Lord, replace them with a modern regime who will not oppress women anymore. Topple the current regime, God. Topple it, topple it, topple it in the name of Jesus. Let Islam fall to the gospel in Iran. You will have your harvest so we pray to the Lord of the harvest and we say, Lord, send laborers into the fields of Iran and let your word run swiftly and let signs and wonders follow to prove that Jesus wasn't just a prophet, but Jesus is the Savior of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. We need to pray. Pray in line with how I prayed on this broadcast. Pray for revival in Iran. Pray for mass salvations. Pray for freedom to reign in Iran. Pray for corrupt dictatorships to fall. Just pray. Thanks for listening. Give us a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts and share this with your friends. Find the show notes at jenniferleclair.org slash praying the news. Until next time, keep praying the news.